I've been sitting here for the past 10 minutes trying to think of an intro joke for this review, so I'm just going to show you some lolcat pictures. Our Idiot Brother is one of those movies that I got a lot more out of than I was really expecting to. What did I expect? Really just the goofy, burnt-out Paul Rudd doing some raunchy humor. Which I got in a way, but in conjunction, I also got a movie with a good blend of comedy and drama, hysterical antics and emotion. And at the center of this is Paul Rudd, an actor that I really like, and whenever he plays a character despite what that character does, I usually like them. Although I feel like most times he doesn't challenge himself enough, and while this isn't really a stretch for him, he does have a somewhat multi-layered character in this movie. He really makes you believe that he is this hapless, yet happy guy. Rudd's character does things that are completely illogical and just plain stupid, although the heart of this film lies when he explains why he does the things he does, and there's a real sense of sincerity in it, which we can be hard put to find as an audience in a lot of well-intentioned dramedies. In addition, a lot of credit must be given to the star-studded and well-put-together female cast of this movie. Zoe Deschanel, Elizabeth Banks, and Emily Mortimer are all wonderful. The female cast and Rudd knew exactly what Jesse Peretz, the director, wanted from them and delivered it. They knew their way around this extremely well-written script and they knew where these characters should start and end up. The movie does have its weak points and that includes what I think is an unfitting and somewhat poorly executed ending. And the movie does lose its balance more than a couple times. Other than that, R88 Brother is charming, funny, smartly written, deep, and an all-around good movie. And I'll give it an 8.5 out of 10. These dog pictures just don't do anything for me.